In this video, we'll be constructing an equilateral triangle that's inscribed in a circle. So we're going to go through one example of this here, and we're going to base it upon the inscribed hexagon construction. That means we're going to first start off by drawing a radius. So place a point on your circle, use a straight edge, draw a radius, and then we're going to measure that radius with our compass. I'm going to find what measurement on my compass lines up best with that point. So on my safety compass that I'm using here, it's this mark right before O, you could use a regular compass as well. I'll be rotating my paper a lot. I'm going to put the gold ring of my compass on that point on the circle, use the measurement from before and draw an arc. Now you have a new point where the arc intersected the circle. The gold ring of your compass is now going there. Use the same measurement get a new point. And I'm going to keep repeating this process, rotating, going around the circle until I have a total of six points. And that six includes the original point that we drew. Once you have six points, you're going to pick three of them. A triangle has three sides, whereas a hexagon has six. So you're going to pick any three that alternate and you are going to use a straight edge and connect them. Okay, we are creating inscribed angles. That means those angles are formed by chords and the vertex of those angles is on the circle. And there's our inscribed equilateral triangle. 